In our corner of the world We're singing and laughing and having fun In our corner of the world No trouble bothers us In our corner of the world We hear the sound of violence In our corner of the world We're dancing happy and free The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding, everything's fine. The sun, it whispers, whispers, I love you, let it shine. In our corner, in our corner of the la di da, la di da, la di da. La di da di da di da di da di da Hello, I'm Danny Angelkovich, co-publisher of the Colorado Kids Create book series. We are amazed at the talent drawn out of these students and happily donate 100% of the profits of our book sales back to our education. We're excited to announce the production of a children's program called Colorado Kids Create and showcase the artwork of thousands of young people, include drawing instruction and music. Hello, I'm Mimi Jo. Everyone living, living has been given a very, very special gift. That is the ability to create. This book is titled In Our Corner. The cover was drawn by Zoe Fenske of Grand Junction. Notice the elk on the cover. What do you love about living in Colorado? Once upon a fleeting time in 1861, Congress chose to name a territory in the western United States, Colorado. The word Colorado is Spanish for colored red. Early explorers named the Colorado River this because of the reddish silt that came down from the mountains giving the water a muddy red hue. There are so many mountains in Colorado and 54 are at least 14,000 feet high. There are four wonderful national parks to visit. Rocky Mountain, Mesa Verde, the Great Sand Dunes, and Black Canyon of the Gunnison. The state animal, the Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, with their curling horns, are only found in the Rockies. The sun shines an average of 300 days a year in Colorado. And the blue sky is like a kaleidoscope in the morning and evening with colors unveiling and changing as light rays pierce through the clouds. Wildflowers cover the mountains and the state flower, the blue columbine, grows along streams and under the shade of tall pine trees. Have you ever smelled a pine tree? Some smell like vanilla. Do you know what Colorado State Bird is? It is the lark bunting. Google a lark bunting's bird call. Close your eyes, be still and imagine sitting near a flowing Colorado River. Does it make you feel happy and relaxed? The capital of Colorado is Denver. The elevation is exactly 5,280 feet. That's a mile high. There are beautiful places all over the earth, but we enjoy colorful Colorado best of all. In our corner of the world, we're singing, laughing, and having fun. In our corner of the world, no trouble bothers us. In our corner of the world, we hear the sound of violins. In our corner of the world, we're dancing happy and free. The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding, everything's fine. The sun, it whispers, whispers, I love you, let it shine. In our corner, in our corner 
of the la-di-da, 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 di-da, 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 di-da. In your corner of the world, we hope you're singing, laughing, and having fun. In your corner of the world, we hope no trouble bothers you. In your corner of the world, we hope you hear the sound of our guitars. In your corner of the world, we hope you're dancing happy and free. The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding, everything's fine. The sun, it whispers, whispers, I love you, let it shine. In your corner, in your corner of the la-di-da, 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 la-di-da-di-da-di-da-di-da-di-da. Let's be proud of where we live and each do our part to make it a happy place for everyone. Learn more about Colorado on Wikipedia. Colorado is one of the states that is the only location in America where four states meet. Do you know the names of the other states? My name is Kara Brennan and I live in Denver, Colorado. I'm in fifth grade and today I'll be showing you how to draw the Colorado Columbine. First of all, you're going to need a pencil and eraser and of course something to draw on like a piece of paper or a notebook. And then also you'll probably want um, some blues and purples in multiple shades. And then you'll also need multiple shades of yellow and green for like the stem and then there's a middle part. And then if you would like, you can also use a silver um, colored pencil just to add like um, some reflections to the flower. So first I'm going to start um, by doing like a petal and it has to kind of be a little wide like that. And um, the columbine has five petals. So I'm going to do five of these shapes. And then after we're done with that, So you see how I left a middle part in there. That's going to be where our yellow goes. So I'm just erasing a little tiny circle for um, our yellow, and we'll do that later. But in between each of the petals, I left a little space, as you can see. So what you're, want, you're going to want to do is you're going to um, want to draw like a, um, a triangle, kind of like this. And so you're going to do that in between each petal, like this. And they don't all have to be the same size because flowers aren't exactly the same. So they don't have to be the same size or length or width. They just have to be in between each petal, like that. And so now we're going to start in the middle. So you're going to want to take one of your um, yellows and I'm just going to kind of draw tiny circles in there, kind of like that. And then switch on to another yellow once you're done with that one and just do layers of different color yellows. You can also use orange if you'd like. So I have used all of my yellows already. So next we're going to um, start on our petals. So I'm going to use my violet color, colored pencil for this. And we're gonna start by kind of doing small shades and then going up and it should kind of start looking like a diamond, like this. And you can make it as big, as wide as you'd like. 
And you just want to do that on every petal. And again, they don't have to be perfect triangles. They just kind of have to look a little like them. They don't have to completely be triangles, just little squiggles. So this one's a good example and I'm gonna go over them again, just to make sure they're light. So darker and then they go like lighter as you go up. So next we're going to actually be shading in the petals. I'm going to use a light purple, which I don't just like use the very tip of a purple. So just barely touch the tip of the pencil tip to the paper. And just lightly shade the um, petal. So I've done one petal and I'm going to go on to um, a blue. So I'm using a very light sky blue and I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the purple, kind of lightly shade over the purple. Just like that. And keep doing this until you have a color that you like. And you can go as dark as you'd like. Um, that just depends on how you want your Columbine to look like. So I have used a blue and a purple so far, and I'm going to add a little dark blue. This is a Prussian blue. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use a little darker shade this time, like that. And then I'm going to use another purple on top of that dark blue and just do this, like kind of dark shade it in, like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser and I'm gonna use a tip of it and kind of mix these colors together, so like that that there's not as many lines. And you can also use your finger, but um, the eraser tends to work better. Now that you've gotten all of your petals shaded and contrasted together, I'm gonna add a little 3D with the silver pencil. So I'm just kind of doing like tiny creases and these will make it look like the flower is curled up. So just um, shade lightly along the edge of your petal and do this on all of the petals. So as you can see, I'm kind of using the silver to curve them up like a little, like that. And you're just gonna want to do it lightly. And again, just using the very tip of your colored pencil to do this. After you've done that, we're going to move on to these longer petals. So I'm going to use a lighter purple. This is actually a dark violet, but still will work. And we're going to make it a little darker than the petals inside. So I'm, I like to color um, by outlining the shape first, like this. And then we're just going to shade darker in just like this. And 
then I'm going to use a regular violet and just go in and kind of do the same thing except over that purple. So I'm just adding um, a darker blue in with my petals, the outer petals. Um, you can use any color blue, but the um, darker blue will show up much better on the um, mixture of purples. So now it's time for the stem, the last element of our flower. So I'm just going to draw a long line And then I'm gonna draw another line going up. And at the very bottom, like about right here, we're going to do the columbine leaf. So what you want to do is you're gonna do a small curve and then a big curve and then another small curve and end it. And then you're gonna go on and do that until you have four of those kind of leaves, like that. And then you're gonna do it again on the other side. And feel free to do as many of these leaves as you'd like, because the columbine has multiple leaves, not only two. I'm just adding two because it goes a little faster that way. And now we're going to use our greens. So the Columbine is a very dark green, like its stem is dark green. So I'm going to use some lighter greens, even though it's dark. Um, these lighter greens will mix with the dark to make it darker. So I'm just gonna use a grass green colored pencil and just, you know, lightly shade in the stem. And we won't do the leaves quite yet. Then I will go on to using a, another type of, it's a lighter grass green and I'm just going to do the same thing over this, the um, dark one. And now I'm going to use a yellow green, which is um, kind of like a yellow. If you mix yellow and green together, you'd probably get this color green. And then lastly, I'm going to use a chartreuse green, which is a very light green. Um, and it's almost like a yellow, but not quite. And over that, I will use the um, dark grass green again over. So lastly, we're going to do the leaves. Um, and you're just gonna do it the same way you did the stem with the grass screen first, then the very, it's called um, just a regular green. And then you're going to want to do the yellow green over that and then the chartreuse, um, and then the grass green again. So I just finished using the light grass green, and now I'm going in and using the darker one. And with the leaves, you don't have to um, shade quite as lightly, because the leaves are very, very dark. Then I'm going to use my yellow green.
And lastly, our chartreuse. Finally, I'm going to apply another um, shade of dark grass green on top of all of the other colors. And there you go. Colorado kids create. They're making things across the state. Drawing, painting, sculpting too. If they can do it, <laughs> you can too. With paints and markers, they're exploring. As your friends, we're now imploring. Like Colorado kids create, art is fun. It's really great. Go outside, your sketch pad take. Sit beside a stream or lake. Be very still and contemplate the beauty of your present state. Picasso, Rembrandt, Monet too. Their art was nice, but how about you? Happy trails ahead will be. Experience art, and you will see. Colorado Kids Create, and you can too! In your corner of the world, we hope you're singing, laughing, and having fun. In your corner of the world, we hope no trouble bothers you. In your corner of the world, we hope you heard the sounds of our guitars. In your corner of the world, we hope you're dancing happy and free. The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding. Everything's fine The sun it whispers Whispers I love you Let it shine In your corner In your corner Of the la-dee-da 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 La di da da di da da di da da di da di da di da di da di da di da da di da da di da La di da da di da da di da da di 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 da da di da Da di da di da di da di da di da. Next time on Colorado Kids Create, Colorado Kids Create presents Albert Bierstadt. Do you know what a landscape is? Once upon a fleeting time, there lived a boy named Albert who sketched pictures with crayons. He did not know that one day a high mountain and a serene lake in Colorado would be named after him because of his majestic artwork.